Every night here on Fox 9 News at 9, we like to take a closer look at the weather, try to learn a few new things from Scott, and we're talking wind chill tonight, and there's definitely been a lot of that outside. Yeah, this certainly has. If you stepped outside at any point today, it was brutal outside. That wind just blasting into your face, and boy, does it feel cold, right? Well, talk a little bit about the wind chill here. So again, it's pretty basic how cold it feels outside, and you'll see it right here. When the wind speed increases, the temperature feels a lot colder outside, and if you take a look at what's happening here, the wind chill only has an effect on us, on living beings, okay? So an engine, if the temperature is 35 degrees and the wind chill is 18, your engine block is not going to freeze. A puddle will not freeze with that type of scenario as well. In fact, it will probably just dry out with the wind. But for us, basically our body's producing a layer of heat, and if the wind can sweep that heat away from us, we will feel colder. So the layer of heat that's around our skin is what's keeping us warm. And so that's why when you have a glove, you've got an air pocket in here, and the body temperature or the, the body heat is keeping that warm. If the wind starts to blow strong and it goes through that glove and starts to remove some of that heat, it makes us feel a little bit colder. So again, layers are better because then you can layer that heat to keep it, to keep the wind away, first of all, and you'll layer the heat to keep the temperature on up. So when you look at the wind chill chart, here's how you calculate it. A lot of numbers here, but notice the shade colors. First of all, you see this blue region right here and this pink region. These numbers are at 18 degrees below zero down to as low as, say, 31 below zero. Uh, basically, frost can occur in 30 minutes in this scenario. You get below 30 below zero in 10 minutes, exposed skin will get frostbite, and it's five minutes when you get below 40 below zero. So where were we today? You look at the temperature, our air temperature up here at our scale, uh, just a little while ago, 35 degrees in Boise, and then go down this column for the wind speed, you'll see it right here at about 25 miles per hour, and we had a wind chill factor feeling like it's 23 degrees outside. So we've been here. Some places are gonna go into this range tomorrow morning, so keep in mind, it is going to be brutal cold out there, and the wind chill will return tomorrow. If you have any questions, you can email me at weather at fox9now.com. We'll try to answer them on the air for you, Roland. All right, make sure to wear those layers. Thanks, Scott. Got it. We've got to take a break. You're watching Fox 9 News at 9. We'll be right back.